Sunday and last night was the coldest night we've had so far in the garden it was forecast well until yesterday morning it was forecast minus two minimum and then yesterday that got changed to a minus five because we're in quite a rural location here now I do tend to wear in the side of caution because there's always a chance it might be a degree or two lower and minus seven is starting to get to the point where things can get affected and badly damaged so just wanted to do a quick video today looking at what I've done to put my protection in the garden and the effects of these temperatures on the plants that are grow. You can see here how in nature, when the fronds naturally die down, they actually protect the trunk, they just give a bit of insulation. So in effect, what we're trying to do with the fleece is replicate that, just give a little bit of extra frost protection around the tender growing point of the fern. So let's have a little walk around the garden and see what the temperature has actually done. So like I say, fern's pretty well frosted. A lot of the fronds are already going brown anyway, so it's not a massive concern. It just means that next year, I'll have to rely on a lot more new frond growth. Looking through here, you can see the ferns here with a bit of overhead cover, closer to the brick wall. The shed's not actually heated, but just an extra little bit of heat keeps the frost away. So that's when I talk about microclimates, it does make a difference. And in some cases, a degree or two, is the difference between keeping your fronds green and losing them all. You can see here the ferns that are more out in the open, they've definitely got more of a frost in, as has my Trachycarpus princeps hybrid, but minus five shouldn't be a concern for that. So going into my well, it's more of a collection of fleeced items and pots at the minute rather than a garden. But having a look around, what I've done is protect the sort of half hardy shrubs that I've got here. So the Scheffler, the Rhododendron that actually got hit quite hard last time. I've just put a bit of fleece over that. It's not going to make a world of difference, but hopefully just an extra couple of degrees keeps off a bit of the frost damage. So looking over here, the Trachycarpus palms, absolutely no concerns about those whatsoever. They can put up with far far colder temperatures than this looking at my sort of red border down here you can see heucheras they don't look too happy but they're perfectly hardy they'll be absolutely fine persicaria a bit of frost is enough to wipe that out but again that's it's absolutely hardy and it will bounce back as soon as temperatures get warmer in spring unfortunately all the weeds at the back they're absolutely fine and not affected by the frost so moving along under there is my Scheffler Maclophila, purely because it's one of the less hardy Schefflerers and I just thought an extra bit of fleece protection should help it get through. Minus five shouldn't in theory be a problem, but if it dips to minus seven, minus eight, you never know what you're gonna get. Here, the Fatsia spider's web. You can see they look really miserable, but in reality, this is more of a reaction to the cold. They take all the moisture out of the leaves to prevent them freezing and they'll actually bounce back through the day, or as soon as temperatures get above freezing anyway. What you might find is that the new growth does brown off a bit. You get a bit of die back where the flowers were, but as soon as spring comes around, they put out new growth. You don't see it at all, so it's not something to worry about. So Melianthus has taken a bit of a battering. 
I think we just sort of got to their limit, but they'll put new growth out in spring. It's not the end of the world. And sometimes a smaller plant with fresh new green growth does actually look better than a taller, lankier one. So we'll see. So formiums, eucalyptus, no worries there. Just a bit of a frosting. What I have done is protect my Boutia palms purely because I didn't know exactly what temperatures would be. It does concern me when temperatures suddenly dip on the forecasts. So I was thinking if it's going to be a minus seven, minus eight, I'd rather have a bit of fleece over than not bother to do anything. As it is, they'd have been perfectly fine. So not a wasted effort, but not something I'd do every time. Looking round to this side, this is a bit of a hasty sort of protection for the, the Musabazu banana. Now, if there's going to be a cold winter, or if I think there's going to be one, I would like to sort of wrap it up properly, put the stakes around it, fill it with straw, fleece it up, the whole job. In reality, what I've done is wait, <laughs> see what's come up, realise there's going to be a, a sort of heavier frost forecast. So I've just wrapped it in plenty of fleece, chucked a blanket over it, and hopefully that's enough to keep most of the height on the stems. Like I said in the previous video, they are root hardy, so I've got no big concerns in that respect. I just wanted to keep the extra height so it fills up more of this space up here. Down here is a Scheffler Taiwaniana. This one was actually planted from a large pot. As I took it out of the pot, the root ball actually broke up quite a bit. It didn't have that good a root system. So it sort of looked a bit wilted anyway for, <laughs> since it was planted, but obviously it's got hit by the frost a bit harder. So with that one, I'm pretty sure it will bounce back in spring when the temperatures go up. Worst case, if it doesn't, I'm sure it will shoot off from lower down the stem. So heading down the garden, Trachycarpus wagnerianus, absolutely no problems there whatsoever. I think they actually look better with a bit of frost on them. And going through the bamboo walk, no problems with these. They can take temperatures far lower than what we get here, or most of them can anyway. I've had a bit of a move round, so you can see in a few years' time these bamboos will have filled this. They'll hopefully have a lot more height to them, probably double the height that they are now. So it'll be a, a sort of narrow sort of walk that will funnel you through and then the garden will open up around here. Obviously those won't be a permanent installation, but they're there for now. So heading out, this border here, or oh, Trachycarpus, the Euphorbia, Formiums. I didn't bother protecting any of this. I didn't see that the temperatures would actually worry those. The Jubea, again, it's a very hardy palm. If you look at my last video, the feather palm video, it can take definitely sort of minus seven, minus eight before I'd start protecting it. So I didn't do anything last night. There's a little low, Stratula or Stratula. They're very hardy. Again, not something I bother to protect. Again, ignore all the weeds. So under these pots here, I've got my agave montanas. There's no need to do anything to them really. They're more than hard enough, but we've had a lot of rainfall this past week and a lot of rain followed by a deep freeze is pretty much a bad scenario for agaves in general. Montanas are among the best, but I just wanted to give them a little bit of extra protection. Ideally, they'd have some sort of overhead shelter, but the pot will still do for now. And there is my Pinus patula, Mexican weeping pine. I think all pine trees look good with a bit of frost on them. Again, no concerns at these temperatures. So moving on to this great big tent of fleece. A lot of the plants in there don't really need the fleece, but there's a few that it could help. So what I did is I just chucked everything together, huddled together for warmth, put a fleece over the top, just to give them an extra little bit of protection. And likewise, under here, I've got my Butia Arius Pather. It shouldn't need any sort of protection at all, but again, I didn't know exactly what the temperature would be forecast. Also, with that plant, it was in a polytunnel last winter, so the growth is probably a little bit softer and more likely to get zapped by the frost. It's a bamboo there, absolutely fine. All my miscanthus grasses and Arundo Donax reeds. No worries there, they'll be planted out this spring. So moving up, you can see how cold it was. I got that from a potting tray last night. It's chilly. 
So yuccas, rostrata, no problems at all. A bit of overhead cover would have helped, but they're, they're pretty hardy, so I've not bothered to do anything and they look absolutely fine. Bigger one there, no particular worries with that. And my big volcano palm there, or volcano. Now I have got one yucca here with a bit more damage. You can see the yellow in near the base and the brown splodges on the leaves. That one's actually a Rostrata and Regida hybrid. What that means is that it's not quite as hardy as the pure Rostrata. So I think it's more susceptible to a bit of damage. It'll be absolutely fine. It's just a combination of the wet in winter and then the freezes as well. It really doesn't like it. There's not a lot I can do with them put an overhead cover, but it'll grow it out. And here's another waggy. This one's potted, but again, no particular concerns there. And just look how good those leaves look with a bit of frost on them. That's where the fire pit's gonna be. I did start digging for a couple of hours, but then got moved on to something else. So looking over here, that is a yucca linearis or linearifolia. To me, it's a much more attractive plant than the Rostrata. The leaves are extra spiky, extra fine, and again, it's very hardy. I've read reports of these surviving even when Rostratas didn't, so it's a tough, tough plant, and one that we planted out here without any sort of protection. Brahira Amata, again, another plant that looks great with a bit of frost. That should be absolutely fine. You can put overhead cover over it, but the main thing is just good drainage. So whilst that's potted at the minute, it's got a good free draining soil, it'll be absolutely fine. So looking at the back here, can't see any problems with the monkey puzzles, they should be fine. And eucalyptus, now that is a snow gum, so hopefully it should be fine. And the bigger one at the back there, yeah, no worries there. You can see here, I've got all my small potted trachycarpus. Now, these are the very, very tough plants, and I've seen people protect them. There's really no need to at all. Those, on the other hand, they're my jubeas. I did take the best three um, and put them in the polytunnel. Those ones are out here, just left with the weeds and the frost. But I think at this age, I should be able to take a sort of minus three, minus four. So we'll see how it goes. So looking out over the field, you can see... It's definitely been a cold night. So that's just a quick walk around for today. Luckily it hasn't been quite as cold as it potentially could have been. But it's one of those things you protect for the worst and hope for the best. And ultimately you just see what happens. So to summarise my main sort of protection methods. Basically half hardy plants, put a bit of extra fleece over. If there's plants that shoot from the base again, plants like the Melianthus, don't get too worried about them. The Tetrapanax as well, they are deciduous in our cold winters. I think sometimes you just have to sort of go with the flow and they will bounce back, they're almost certain to. The tree ferns, straw in the crowns. I wrap up the top 12 inches of the more exposed plants, but don't worry about the fronds. You will get new ones in May and they'll look green and zingy and everything they should do bananas absolutely fine in terms of root hardiness but if you want to keep the height just wrap up the stems that should be enough big trachycarpus no need to do anything at all and then sort of half hardy or slightly tender shrubs they all tend to look worse with a bit of frost, but they bounce back within a few hours. I've just given them a bit of fleece. So that's just a quick look around. Could have been a lot cold last night, but it's still interesting to see everything after a bit of blast of frost. <laughs> 